Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. Please like this video, subscribe, or at least comment. That would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to click that little notifications bell so that you never miss another one of my uploads. Hello guys, Lucy here again. And I would like you guys all to meet someone very special in my life. Her name is Jasmine the Jeep. Um, and you know, I did not choose the name Jasmine because I like Aladdin or anything. I love Aladdin, but that was not the point. The point was, was that her brand is Jeep and I wanted something to go with it. And she just seems like a, a Jasmine to me. Very tough and compatible and amazing. I'm so excited. I have been waiting for a car for such a long time. So I did buy some goodies for her yesterday. I put this little True North thing and it smells really strong, but it's okay because we like, we like strong smells. If you watched my last video, um, it, it did smell like wet dog, but not anymore. So thrilled to announce that. We're gonna take these things out, these paper mats out. I did buy some new car mats. Oh, yesterday. I'm gonna put you guys on a stand here. It looks like they stapled these mats together. Woo! Another staple. That's really stubborn. Okay, take this floor mat out. I always like super long for some reason. That's kind of annoying. So we have that one there. Aw. Hi, stud muffin. And then we're gonna put the other one right in the passenger seat. Put that one down. Like so. It's funny because she has like these door or these door handles that are not like regular door handles they're not here they're actually right up here okay. open this up and boom i am so excited about this car y'all have no idea let's go in there and talk a little bit Okay guys, so I'm in my car. The reason why I was like so quiet just then kind of was because we do have uh, people riding horses up in the barn and I didn't want to distract them or the horses. I am absolutely ecstatic. I'm so excited and I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. A uh, couple things you guys maybe are wondering, maybe you're assuming. I just got on my hood. What's that sound? You know, it's kind of funny, but I'm a person that will not get alone if she does not have to. When my other car died, my little 2005 Ford Focus that happened to be an orangey rust color, her name was Roxanne, rest in peace Roxanne. She bit the dust by a pothole, via pothole, her frame was cracked, it was bent the wrong way, and and there was a gas leak in my gas tank. I could have still drove that thing, but it would have. I mean, it was dangerous, it could have exploded, I didn't want to die. I'm still here. And I came down and I'm like, okay, well, I don't have a car to get to my office job. And so my mom's like, well, you have a couple of options. You can get a car loan, you can save up until you have money enough money to get a new car. And so I was like, okay, well, I don't really want to take out a loan. I mean, I'm already in student debt. I don't want to have a car loan debt. That did not seem right to me. That did not seem smart to me. Um, and yes, I am paying for my insurance. Yes, this is actually my car. This is a title under my name. Yes, I'm paying for repairs. Yes, I'm paying for insurance. And yes, this is my car. And yes, I do have other expenses like rent and utilities. And I have a whole budget. 
I have a whole budget and I could just like list it out for those of you who really want to know my personal business. <laughs> I paid my money all in cash and I have never gotten that much money out of a credit union before. I'm on the special budget, Dave Ramsey, go look it up. And my mom budgeted me. Um, she budgeted my older sister too as well. Basically, if you don't have the money to pay for something, you're not gonna buy it. That's my mom and the people that are riding horses. I told you they were there. It's gonna be lit, guys. I wanna do a drive with me video. I wanna do a lot of videos in my car. Car sing-alongs maybe, car bops. But let me just show you a little bit of Jasmine. You know, we have all of these things here. My last car, a 2005 Ford Focus. Roxanne, how could I, how could I forget you? This is a 2016 Ford Focus. So I've really upgraded from 2005 to 2016. Pretty, pretty good. 11 years upgraded. Lord has blessed me. Hallelujah. Actually, it really has. It's right here. Okay, dashboard. This is my mask. I love my mask. A CD, single single disc serious radio disc disc cord there's a cord there's an aux cord here's the volume auto stuff auto select button where you can choose the the radio that you want to listen to or radio station that you want to listen to and heat circulation ac cold hot and where you want your air to go park reverse neutral drive and this little doohickey I have no idea what this means so if someone could let me know what this means I would be deeply deeply grateful to you four wheel drive lock baby I have always driven two wheel drive front two wheel drive in blizzards in hailstorms in rainstorms like just just the two two front wheel drive two front wheel drive and it's been scary. I've I've fishtailed. I had a huge Dodge Ram van um, once upon a time. Uh, his name was the Batmobile. It was the Batmobile, and it was scary because I had that for my undergrad, college years, and I commuted my first two years to college. And anytime there was a snowstorm or whatever, it would fishtail. But I learned how to drive. And that and I'm very grateful because I have that skill now not everybody has that skill uh, Roxanne she was my 2000, 2005 Ford Focus uh, and she was also front wheel drive two front wheel drive she didn't fishtail as much because she was so condensed she was so small it was scary because my brakes on that car did give out when I was on a highway that was so terrifying but everything was okay my grandpa came to help me my, my parents um, told me what to do. Was, I was away at college. Every single season of my life, I've had a different car. So for my first four years of college, my undergrad, I had the 2005 green, greenish, bluish Dodge Ram van, the Batmobile. And then for my fifth year of college in Rochester, I had the 2005 Ford Focus a little Ford Focus hatchback named Roxanne and then now for my I guess like this is my first big girl car Jasmine and she's a Jeep and she's four-wheel and I have a big girl job and this this car is under my name I'm paying the insurance for it I'm paying the repairs for it I'm paying for everything for it my growing up car because I'm still a young person, but I'm I'm not like teen young or like undergrad young. I'm like, I'm in flux, but I don't wanna be an older adult right now either. It's just one of those things. You can put down the two seats. I'm gonna show you guys. So you like pull this little tab here and it comes down. Here's the other tab. Ooh. Pull that sucker down. Should have gotten the seat belt off first. Look at how much trunk space I have, guys. Woo! This was so much more <laughs> than my little Ford Focus. I absolutely adore her. Her sound, her her bass. She got that bass. 
she got that base girl I finally got the key and we're just gonna start her up and one of the really cool things about this car was that I can actually lock and unlock it via this little key here my Ford Focus I did have to manually go to the door and unlock it and or lock it and that was just a pain one cool thing also about this key as you can see here is it's auto start I am so thrilled he's thrilled too he's scared too ready I've literally been in the car for like 20 minutes trying to figure out how to reprogram this key fob um, to make it auto start and to make it work so you apparently hold this hold this lock button right here and then you push the key fob twice oh this is so embarrassing there we go look at that and I have the key right here and then I could just turn it off boom I'm not gonna listen to like a lot of music because I don't want to get copyrighted but let's just see how well her bass is boosted okay <laughs> Guys, this is so fun. I think y'all should try this sometime. It's getting hot in here. Wait, how do I turn this on? If you want a compact SUV, um, for my needs anyway, I really needed a four wheel drive and I wanted a compact SUV. This was it. People are like, oh, Jeep. Oh my gosh. Some people are like, oh my gosh, Jeep. Woo! Whatever camp you are in, that's fine. But for my circumstances right now in my life, this is what I bought 100%. Wow, I was sweating. Sorry. I need my air on. I was dancing too hard. I can't wait to go on some adventures with y'all, with you guys, in Jasmine, in this Jeep. Before y'all go, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe or at least comment. That would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to click that little bell right down there below so that you never miss another upload. Mwah. Bye, guys. I love you. Mwah. Much love.